Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to perform virtual screening using PyRx. So PyRx is a software which use Autodoc 4 and Autodoc Vina for molecular docking. But you know, in case of Autodoc 4 or Autodoc Vina, uh, the ligand molecule can be docked once at a time. But in case of PyRx, the ligand molecules can be docked in batch mode. That means more than one ligand molecule docked to the active site of protein in a single go. And that is the advantage of using PyRx software. Moreover, it's a graphical user interface. That is the one more benefit of PyRx software. So in this virtual screening tutorial, I am going to use aldehyde dehydrogenase 1a1 as protein molecule the pdb id of this protein is 7wgni and i am going to use 10 ligand molecules 10 approved drugs okay so more ligand molecules can be used but for this tutorial purpose i am only using 10 approved drugs so i have already downloaded these drug molecules and protein molecules in my input folder okay this is my input folder and you can see here the protein molecule in, in PDB format and 10 drug molecules in HDF format. Okay. Now we have to download the PyRx software and we have to install it in our desktop or laptop. So now I'm going to show you how to download the PyRx software and how to install it. So first type in Google PyRx. and we have to click in this link download okay for windows version select this option and choosing the free version and now the option for download is open click here to download the software it's now downloading now the software has been downloaded and it is present in my download folder in download folder this is the setup for PyRx double click here to install the software click here next next now the software is installing the software installation is now complete click finish and after finishing a desktop shortcut will be created okay so you can see here this is the desktop icon for PyRx. You can open PyRx by double clicking here. PyRx virtual screening tool is now opening. It will take some time for loading. Now the workspace for PyRx virtual screening tool is now open and you can see this is the graphical user interface. So in case of Autodog Vina. Uh, we have seen that the Vina is uh, used in through command line interface, but in this PyRx, you can use Vina through graphical user interface. That means simply clicking the different options which are present here. Okay, and several options are there. You can prepare your protein molecule here. You can load the different drug molecules in through open bubble, and you can convert the different file format through open bubble. And also docking, visualization, everything can be done in this interface or workspace. So PyRx is actually the compilation of different software in a single workspace. So before starting our virtual screening, let's first uh, visualize our protein molecule in BioVia Discovery Studio Visualizer. So I have already opened the protein molecule in this visualization software. And you can see here the protein chain and the associated water molecule. There is no bound ligand to it. Okay, so we don't need to remove any ligand molecule. And uh, this is the active site area. So you know protein preparation means removal of water molecule. And we have to add hydrogen, atoms, Coleman charge, gas charge, charge, etc. So we can uh, prepare this protein molecule in orthodox tool manually. And also, we can prepare it in the PyRx software through graphical user interface through a, through a single click. Okay. So now open the protein molecule 
Pyrex software, click File, then Load Molecule. And you have to select your protein molecule. I'm going to the desktop and input folder. Here's the protein molecule. Save. Now the protein molecule is open. Right click here and select this option auto dock. Then make macro molecule. If you click this option make macro molecule, the protein molecule will be prepared for molecular docking or virtual screening. Okay. Now we see the protein molecule is now prepared. Hydrogen atom has been added. Okay. Now we have to load our ligand molecule. We have to load our ligand molecule to this open bubble wizard. Okay. So click here open bubble and click in this option to load the ligand molecule. Go to the input folder. Now you see there are 10 ligand molecules, but we have to load this ligand molecule one by one. Okay, so first select this drug molecule, open. Now it's open, but it's a very laborious job to load the molecules one by one. So there is a solution for this problem. Okay. Okay, so first of all, you have to merge this ligand molecule in a single SDF file. Okay, so if, if you have downloaded the ligand molecules one by one from different drug database, you can merge these files into a single SDF file or single other file format. You can do that using open bubble. So uh, to learn that, watch my tutorial number five, where I have used open bubble through common line interface. And uh, I have shown how to convert or how to mark this ligand files into a single SDF file or single file format. So different database like Gene database, drug bank, drug bank database or PubChem database. If you want to download the whole database, so they provide their ligand molecule in a single file. So download that file. Like in case of Gene database, I have downloaded all FDA approved drugs. And these all every up to drugs are present in a single file, single SDF file. So you can see the size of this file, 3630 KB. So more than 1500 drug molecules are present in this SDF file. So it's better to mark these ligands into a single SDF file. So here I have already marked them in this file, the 10 marched file. So better to load this file. And now you can see. If I load this file to open bubble, I am deleting this molecule, earlier molecule, and I am loading the March file. Okay. So now you can see all the 10 molecules have been uploaded. Okay. These are the drug molecules. Now, we have to minimize this drug molecule. Okay, so click here and select minimize all. So all the drug molecules will be minimized. That means energy minimization. So all the drug molecules have been minimized. Now we have to convert the file format from SDF to PDBQT. You know the Autodog Vina uses PDBQT format. Okay, so let's convert the ligand molecules into PDBQT format. So select this option convert all to Autodog ligand PDBQT. So now all the ligand molecules or drug molecules have been converted to PDBQT. Okay. These are the trained drug molecules in PDBQT format and this is the protein in PDBQT format. Okay.
Now click in the auto dock Vina wizard. Click in the Vina wizard for molecular docking or virtual skinning using auto dock Vina. Okay, now start by clicking this option start and then select the ligand molecule by pressing shift and clicking here you can select all the ligand molecules then click the option forward now you can see a grid appears here and this grid is used for selection of the area where the ligand molecules will be docked okay you can increase the size of this grid and you can change the position of this grid box okay so press there you can move this grid box anywhere in this workspace and you can also change the size of the grid box in x y and z direction okay and you can note down from here the center x y z and the dimension x y z you can note down from here so possibly this is this is the active side area i am placing the grid box here covering the active side area and i am also increasing the size of this grid now this is the area where the molecules will be docked now click simply forward <coughs> Now the molecular docking based virtual screening is running in Pyrex software using Autodog Vina. So it will take some time. Usually in normal laptop, it takes approximately two hours for docking uh, approximately 100 ligand molecules. Okay. So if you are uh, virtual screening a very large number of ligand molecules, so it better to divide your virtual experiment into different phases that means you can uh, dock the molecules part by part uh, per day in your laptop you can dock approximately 200 to 250 molecules okay uh, we can also see the progress of our screening in this window okay i'm expanding it and you can see here Till now, total docking of 8 ligands have been completed. The job is now completed. Okay, you can see the result. And we can download the result, that means the score of the pose of each ligand in Excel format. Okay. So, this is the option for saving the result in comma separated values in Excel. That means CSV format. Click here to save the result in CSV Excel. I am saving it in the input folder and giving it a name result. This is the result folder, result file. You see, Vina gives uh, nine poses of each ligand as output. Okay, and the first nine poses from the first ligand, and this is the base pose with lowest delta G value. That means this pose has highest binding affinity. Okay. Similarly, for each ligand, there are 9 output poses always. You can download all the posts, but usually the best pose is required for further analysis. Okay. But how to download this post? Click in this option auto dock and then And this you can see these are the ligands. So for fast ligand, double click here and click here molecule 
for the fast ligand these are the nine output poses and this model one that means this is the base pole with lowest delta g value okay so i am removing removing this and this is the fast pole with lowest delta g value you can download this pose in pdb format for that click here right click save as pdb i am saving it in the input folder and giving a name fast ligand dot pdb similarly for each ligand you can for the second ligand you can click, double click here click molecule this is the first pose of the base pose remove these poses and download this save as pdb to the input folder save it as say again ligand dot pdb save similarly for all 10 ligands you can save the base poses for further analysis okay first ligand and second ligand pose in pdb format now for further analysis we have to go to the biovia discovery studio to see the interaction between the protein molecule and the ligand molecule you can also analyze the analyze the result in pyrex but uh, for publication quality image uh, i <coughs> prefer the biovia discovery studio or other visualization software like pymol chimera etc okay uh, so yes i will upload a separate tutorial on the uh, different visualization software next tutorial i am going to upload about the biovia discovery studio uh, how to uh, analyze the result how to create publication quality images etc okay so that's all for today's tutorial so in this tutorial we have uh, performed virtual skinning of more than one ligand in pyrex software which uses autodoc vina for molecular docking autodoc is also used in this software but i always prefer vina because vina takes less time for molecular docking and for virtual skinning the docking software which takes less time is better for virtual skinning okay so that's all for today's tutorial thank you